Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. I just ran all the way here to the Innkeeper at Donassus, and now we're just going to continue on with the series. Uh, there's a few things we want to do. Uh, first of all, we want to go to the First Age Trainer. I, I don't remember exactly where it is, but I know it's this way somewhere. If we find a guard, we'll ask, but I know it's closer to the... Uh, the place where you buy the mount should be somewhere here. Cooking first aid. There we go. Found you, buddy. First aid techniques. So let's do that. Uh, go into first aid, and uh, now we got a new one. Now this one will heal pretty much double the amount. Yeah, almost exactly. Uh. It's more than double. Slightly more than double. And for the next one, we need level 50. So we can actually train this now. That's five silver gun. And then at 80, we get anti-venom. And we can start with wool. And then also we could sell the old ones because they are not going to heal enough. Hello. So we'll sell the old ones. This one right here. Oh, there's a shield. Don't know why shields doesn't like automatically sell. Now we have two green weapons. One is a mace, the other one's a sword. And I think maces we can learn in Iron Forge, and swords we can learn at um, Stormwind, I think. So we might just go all the way there. However, it's a very long, tedious process, and it, you have to pay 10 silver to, read, uh, to, to train it, so... Not just is it a long, tedious process, it also costs quite a bit. Um, but we'll see. Still using LimeWire to show us the locations we have to go to. Tyrande has no- Ah, yes. The water I had requested. Tanneron and Corythrus certainly took their time in having it delivered. Perhaps not choosing the most reliable of messengers. Hmm. Nonetheless, I can finally get back to my work then. The weight of Teldrassel's problems fall upon my shoulders. A yoke I would wish to soon be rid of. Take this, you may find some use for it. Turn in Nessa Warsong. Ah. So before we do that, uh, we'll just quickly go to the um, auction house. Clear out our inventory a bit. I see we also have mail. So maybe something sold in the auction house. Let's have a look. Selling. Um, sell this. Should we also sell our food? It's kind of cheap, though. This guy is selling at vendor price. Get all of the stuff out of our inventory. We'll keep the leather there. Like until this the one and this one becomes green. We don't have to make it now. We're gonna most probably wait for fairies, then we'll make it. So 
So, turn in Nessa Warsong. And that is this portal at the back there. And if you guys are wondering, we are level 12. That reminds me, I need to go to a trainer. But I'm already here, so I'm not going to turn around now. Because at 12, we can actually train parry, which is pretty good. Ishnu, the fish off the coast of Teldrassil are quite large and robust. Rumors say it is the speedy growth of our new world tree that is the cause. Yes, I have need of a courier who will take a package to Darkshore. Will you help me? The fishermen of Ruth Theron Village do very well, for the fish here are extremely large and abundant. I would like to compare the bounty here with that of the mainland. I have a collection of fish bones and scales that I would like taken to a colleague of mine in Darkshore. His name is Lair. He is a fish vendor in the village of Alberdeen. Bring my collection to our Hippogriff Master, Vespristus, and speak to him about traveling to Alberdeen. Ah, you wish to get this to Alberdeen? Very well. From Rutheran, there are two methods of travel to Alberdeen. By ferry and by Hippogriff. Both are quick and reliable, but if you have not yet flown to Alberdeen by Hippogriff, then I suggest you do. It is sound advice to speak with the Hippogriff Master in every town that has one. Once you speak to the master, you can then fly there from other towns. Here is Nessa's collection. Speak with me again when you are ready to fly to Oberdeen and deliver Nessa's collection to Laird. This add-on is actually pretty cool. We're getting the whole story written or read to us. Okay, we need to check uh, which ferry do we grab. I think we go to wetlands, dude. That ability isn't ready yet. And I don't know if there's a rogue trainer here. That is an, an insanely shiny weapon he got there. For level 19. <laughs> so yeah, when it comes to talents, what we're going to do is we're going to take 5 and dodge. We're going to get parry and then we're going to get repost. We'll get 2 here um, and then we're going to start going down this tree. Increasing our crit, making our slice and dice longer. Then we're going to, after kill after killing an opponent we that heals... Uh, experience or honor that gives you 20% critical chance on your next sinister strike backstab ambush uh, this will just help us to chain kill if you want and then we'll take this increase the critical strike chance bonus of your sinister strike backstab and stuff like that um, and then we're going to go into poisons most probably because I don't think anything else here is needed I mean hit chance with melee weapons very very useful Making or, or take doing more damage with your offhand, very very useful. Um, flurry, increase your attack speed by twenty percent. In addition, attacks strike an additional nearby opponent. So this will help with AOE. We get uh, kicks that silences. Um, increase your skill with swords, fists, and daggers by three. Increase the amount of your sinister strike. And your and evasion uh, eviscerate abilities by two percent. Increase your energy regeneration rate, so that's your big cooldown, your five minute cooldown to do more damage. Or this one, well, this one has it here, cold blood. When activated, increase the critical strike chance of your next sinister strike backstab ambush by one hundred percent. So it's a it's a guaranteed crit. Your critical strikes from melee uh, add combo points. I have a 20% chance to add an additional combo point. So it takes 5. 
So every time you crit, you'll get an additional combo point. That is broken, dude. Considering you're deal wielding, you will crit so often. Okay, I'll catch you guys once the fairy is here. Goodness. Hey. It arrived. Well, if you fell in the water, <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay, so also when it comes to green items, so far we only got two of them. Um, nothing too special. Uh, we might as well also just select our new one. So we can actually get this done. Could you not have the right click, dude? Close. So there's a lot of quests we're going to do here. But we have two green items in our inventory, uh, a sword and a mace. And in order to use those, you can, which you can see, 100% increase, 100% increase. For us to use those, we need to go train maces and swords. Which I assume maces will be in Ironforge and swords will be in Stormwind, I think. Now, obviously, we could fly there, right? No, we can't. Not from here. This this has to be a ferry. So this place where we're going to now, which is wetlands, I don't know exactly where it is. It should be up here somewhere. That's Ironforge. Yeah, well, there's wetlands. So we're going to wetlands, right? Then there's another ferry we can take. That should go straight to Stormwind, I think. Okay, that doesn't seem like the case. That's one of Marsh. This guy must have a. Uh, I need to get closer. This guy must have a boots enchantment that makes him run faster. That's one of Mars. Where would you like to fly to? Be careful. Don't have anything connected. I honestly can't remember where Daswala Marsh is. I mean, there's a harbor all the way down here, but it's high level. So I think the only way to get there is to run. But like running through this area. 20 to 30. Level 20 to 30 stuff here. I most probably will have to look at a video. Just give me a second. Oh, snap, son. Looks like we're gonna swim for 20 minutes. Well, that's fun. Looks like the only way to get there safely is to swim. If you don't want to run through here, which we most probably will die, even if I run on the path. We're gonna swim for days, bro. Obviously, I'll cut it out for you guys.
So it's swim all the way around this cliff, all the way down to Stormwind. So it's going to take uh, a chunk. But I'll catch you guys once we are in Stormwind-ish area. At, at this area. Eastern Kingdom Wastefall. Gotta be honest, man. The, the waters and stuff like that is actually pretty beautiful. It's very nice to look at. Especially with the sun, wherever the sun might be. Which I assume it should have been there, but... What do I know? <laughs> oh, dude. This was a swim and a half all the way from there. You know how long it took? Easily 45 minutes. I watched uh, a full game of TFT. A full game. I don't know what my dog is doing, dude. My dog is laying on her, on her back. Whacking her tail. And making weird noises. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're finally here. Holy bro. Like, I'm sweating. All the fatigues that I, uh, that I saw. Oh. Oh. So finally we can use some sprint again. So we should be high enough level to not pull in like aggro from all over the place here. This might actually be a better place to level as well. Since I know it a lot better. All right, on our way to Stormwind. We can also maybe just grab this elite quest and do it. See what we get. I think it's an elite chest or a green chest. Uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. Dude, this took way longer than it should have, in my opinion. But at least we have the flight point, so we'll be flying back. We have our we have our hearthstone also. We'll be at closer distance. Okay, almost at Stormwind. At least from Stormwind to Iron Forge is literally a train a train ride away. Stupid cow. Why not, huh? Just do it. Oh, Rorty then. Entering Stormwind. Here we go. Cool music.
Okay. I don't know where the weapon trainer is. King's honor for I think it's by the PvP area. Master Wu Ping has mastered nearly every weapon known to man. He is especially deadly with his sword techniques. He spends a good deal of time over in the Weller's arsenal waiting on new shipments of weapons to arrive if you need some training. What can I do for- Have you come seeking training in the ways of armed combat? So there's swords. Be careful. I supply best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now what can I help you with? Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now what can I help you with? See you later. So now we have swords. That's pretty huge. So now we're just going to grab the flight point and then we're going to go Need help? These great beasts know paths that you can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. We're going to go to Iron Forge. You know, everyone that's playing this game will eventually die, right? <laughs> Your character will eventually die. It's just a matter of time. And that's what makes it scary, dude. You could be spending 60 hours on a character and then... All it takes is one mistake, dude. And it's game over, man. So the train is all the way back here. Sometimes you gotta wait like five minutes for it. Sometimes it's here almost instantly. We'll just have to wait for the train. But this takes you at least straight to Iron Forge. And there I'm pretty sure we'll learn maces. How do I know this? Because warriors, if you start with the warrior and you're playing a dwarf they don't start with an axe or you know they start with a mace now, this train is actually pretty fast stormwind is here iron forge is all the way up there it takes about a minute to get there i think If I'm not mistaken, this train is faster than flying there. Including the time you have to wait for the train to arrive, I think. I think this is pretty fast, dude. And it's in a straight line. So quiet. That ability isn't 
ready yet. Not ready yet. I can't do that yet. Okay, I also don't know where the weapon trainer is here, so we'll have to ask a guard. Well, that's pretty fast to Ironforge, isn't it? Also, we have mail. Nice, our ore sold. Where's the guards, bro? What can I do? What do you need directions to? You're looking to learn how to use a new weapon, are you? Well, you should be talking to Beachy or Bullywhiff over at the Timberline Arms Weapon Shop then, lass. They know their weapons from axes to... Uh, sway hands. What do you need direct... Uh, class trainer. Which class trainer might you be looking for? All the roguish types hang out in the Forlorn Cavern, north of the gates of Ironforge. I'd wager you'll find Fenthwick there, no doubt counting the coin of another cut purse. I'll catch him one of these days. In the meantime, I'll have my eye on you as well, as. Well, hi there. Are you here to learn the proper technique of a new weapon? You want to be trained in the use of a weapon, do you? Well, don't stand there slack-jawed. Speak up, lassie. Hey, good. Okay, we have 11 silver left. Oh no, By both this main hand? No, this is one hand. Okay, there we go. Oh, but the sword is so slow. Would have been so good on our actual main hand. You see, it says offhand upgrade because it's so slow. You want the fast offhand weapon because you miss more. Then hit. And you want a slow main hand because then your sinister strike does more damage. So here's the flight point. We'll grab this. No. The wild hammer dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy peak griffins stand the heat of the great forge? I think not. And then we have level 12 training that we still can do. So we can get parry and we can get kick. We're not going to train backstab. Dude, I think it's my first time ever in this area. Hi, how are you? Shady dealer. You have a great day now. Selling uh, mm, poisons. What can I do for you? Harry. We don't have enough money for kick. Um. Daylight's burning. Can I help you? Off and away. What can I do for you? Dude. Right. We have nine copper to our name. So you can't take a ferry back. We'll have to... Hearthstone. So now we are in Darnassus again. Where we started this episode. And just remember, my weapons is not trained right now, so we're gonna miss the whole time. Which, by the way, um, people are saying that if you are playing rogue, like I watched the guide while I was swimming, you should you should always play human. And your second best option is a is a dwarf. What brings you here? Farewell. And the reason for that is because of weapon skills. 
That's the only reason. So why do I have this quest? Ishnu Dal Dieb. May the stars guide you. Take it to Sindra and Darnassus. Sayurna. I mean, there's an arrow that shows down. I think we went up before. Okay, what? Well, it's whatever. I feel like we should just clear up all these quests we have. It's, it's a rogue quest, dude. It's our road quest. Take a Janox Rose to Sayurna. Okay, I guess I'll have to just Google it. Okay, it's actually inside this tree. Greetings, young rogue. What do you seek? Had I saved every flower that Dolt, Janna, had sent me, I would have had the means to open a shop. Regardless, it seems as if Janik's latest courier may prove to be useful. Interested in some work, adventurer? We believe there is one being that may be able to help us understand what is happening to the forests of Teldrassil. Unfortunately, getting the creature to cooperate has proven disastrous. He hides on a branch at the outskirts of the Oracle Glade. All who have so far approached the Satyr, whether through force or diplomacy, have met with doom. Perhaps stealth is the answer, adventurer. Find what Sathir the Ancient carries in his packs and report back to me. Destiny calls. Oh, wow. We got a 100 dagger from this. Okay, let's go do it. We just get a green dagger, bro. Is it even better than the one we have? It says upgrade for your orphan because it's it's faster. It's plus two agility, bro. It's so much better. Agility is your best stat by far because it increases your dodge chance, your critical hit rate, 
your hit chance, and also your armor. It increases so many stuff. Okay, so it's all the way up there. Loads of running around again. Was gonna hit and skin, but yeah, it doesn't matter too much anymore. I don't want to do that when I'm sprinting. So we'll move the sword to our main hand because it's a three second swing timer. It's very slow. And then we'll sell the mace. But yeah, we need to upgrade or train our weapons. Um, and that could be problematic because we have two new weapons right now. You can see in the chat bo the chat box how we're getting spammed by the weapons being trained. At least rogues uh, train weapons fast because of. Attack speed increase. Once we have our stuff trained, we'll be Gucci. Are you kidding me? I sold my skinning knife. That's just great. So far away. Very, very far away. Might actually have to make almost every class and play and see which uh, which one gets the most views which one people want to like watch more more interested in we don't have to stick to one class we can play literally everything would be more ideal to stick to one class
Okay, this loot seems to be in the middle of nowhere, dude. On top of a tree. Level 12 humanoid. That gave me a fry, dude. And uh, we're not gonna attack for quite a while. Get in combat. So we might as well use evasion here. While we're training our weapons on him. That was worth evasion, dude. I don't have a target. Oh, there's more than one. So I have to just pickpocket them. I mean, what other class do we want to play? I, 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 I think priest is just like extremely boring. You just literally dot and wand. That's that's literally what you do the whole time. Hunters is extremely hard until level ten, and then they're super like most probably the easiest class to play until level sixty. Uh, I feel like rogues and warriors. I feel like warriors is most probably the harder one. Most probably the, yeah. I would say Warriors is the hardest class to play to level 60 because they're purely just stats based and the only way to beat something is by either being having more power than the enemy you're facing like raw power uh, Warriors Warriors is extremely like god tier once you um, once you have a healer them is probably all the best class with a healer next to them. Shamans, I feel like, is the best of both worlds. Same with paladins, but paladins are also boring to play. Since they are, like, they have half the abilities as healing, half the abilities as damage, so... In theory, you have half the amount of damage abilities than a warrior will have. That makes sense. Um, mages, I don't, I'm not a big fan of mage. I think they are most probably the easiest or the fastest, not the easiest. They're the fastest to level if you know how to AoE pull. Um, I'm not a fan of mage. So my options is between... I would say, like... Warlock. Warlock is a good option. You can also get a mount at level 40, so... You save a lot of gold there. Where other classes have to learn how to ride, which is like... 80 dollars in total, or 80 gold in total. Which is a lot for level 40. It's, it's quite a lot. The only way you're going to get there is by... Doing professions. Selling the stuff you craft. So 
So I would say Warriors. Warriors is probably the hardest. I would put Rogue next to that. Maybe not next to it, but below it, right? I'd say Rogue is probably the second hardest to level. Where Warriors and Warlocks is most probably the easiest. Where if you play a mage good, mage is the fastest. I don't know where I'll put a Paladin, to be honest. I, I never really enjoyed playing Paladin. Then Druids. Druids and, uh, and Shamans is roughly equally fast, I would say. Then equally as hard. No, no, no. I think Shamans is easier. I can't really say that, though. Druids is also pretty easy to level. Okay, this was lo a lot of running around for a weapon. That's not really an upgrade, since we have two green ones. But it might lead to another quest. This is grim news, adventurer. It would seem that the sickness which has gripped the forests and rivers of Darkshore has begun to taint our home. You have served us well, but there is nothing more you can do here. Take this blade as a reward for your service to Teldrassil. And we can't backstab unless it's a, a dagger in your main hand. It's okay, we got a, a, a dagger now with two agility on it, dude. That is insane. That was worth all the running, in my opinion. So yeah, what, do you, what, what class would you guys say I should play as a second class? I think hunters would be the most fun. But like, it's boring to watch, I think. Do we grab the ferry because we just don't have money? Nah, dude, we'll go. To go fast, hunters run. It's cheating. To maintain our link to the mainland, we have hippogriffs constantly flying. It's free. Theron village and dark shore. So bro, finally, finally we can start to level again. This video is 48 minutes long, and we are just like running around, training weapons. We're pretty much just at the moment unlocking the game, if that makes sense. For if my friends do want to do the dungeon in Stormwind, for example, I can actually go there and do it. Because we have it unlocked. My dog is like <laughs> wanting a pet. Just want some love. You know what I'm saying? Some love. Okay, so we have now four greens where we only had two when we started this episode. So even though it's a lot of running around, I honestly think it was worth. Except washed a shore PL. A 
Elun be Although the coast of Darkshore is more dangerous than that of Teldrussel, many fishers find profit here. A package from Nessa. Thank you, adventurer. She told me she would send me samples of the fish caught near Rutheran village. She thinks they may be very different from the fish caught here. My, this jawbone is nearly twice the size of the same fish found here. And these scales are as big as a closed fist. Amazing. I must send a response to Nessa. She'll be very interested to know how different the fish here are from those along Teldrassil's coastline. We can only guess the cause, but it is my suspicion that the world tree itself is affecting the wildlife around it. Please take this response to Nessa. If you wish to take a hippogriff back to Rutheran, then speak with the hippogriff master, Kalis Moonfeather. If you wish to take the ferry, then one regularly departs from the dock to the northwest. In the aftermath of the battles at the Well of Eternity, I heard that Amatharan had been destroyed, its people dead, including my love, Anaya. I would never have thought, thousands of years later, that memories of Anaya would still haunt my dreams. Wandering the woods of Darkshore in a stupor, I found myself in the ruins of Ameth Aran, where I saw the haunted spirit of my beloved. She must be freed, but I lack the heart to do it. Her spirit must be destroyed. Hey! Help me with my latest invention, the Buzz Box! You can talk to people far away! Maybe you've already seen them! They're boxes with levers on them! The only problem is they need constant maintenance. Each one suffers from a different problem, but I made a really smart decision. I placed each one near creatures that have the proper parts to fix that particular machine. Right now, Buzzbox 827 is on the Fritz. It's just south of Aberdeen, real close. It takes six crawler legs to fix it. I'll pay you a fee. Majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at the Darkshore coastline, beached there until they die. Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There is a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by the foul gray mist murlocs. Could you go there and retrieve bones from the creature for our study? I am devising a potion that requires rare mushrooms. Mushrooms that grow only in a certain cave. The cave lies behind Cliff Spring Falls, to the east and slightly north along the mountains. I would go there myself, but I was advised by the Grove of the Ancients to stay away from that place. Our venerable allies sense that the cave is the hiding place for a new evil in Darkshore. Please, adventure, gather the mushrooms for me. And while doing so, scout the cave to confirm the ancient's fears. Hostile moonkin roam in ever-increasing numbers to our east. They once were thought to be gentle, almost mystical creatures. While some continue to hold reverence for them, the safety of Oberdeen forces me to keep a more realistic view. I've received reports that moonkin are being drawn to a large red crystal along Darkshore's eastern mountain range. No one has any idea what that crystal is, or even if it really exists. I want you to locate it over there and report back to me what you find. A sickness spreads across the dark shore, gripping the minds and bodies of all it touches. The thistle bears have been hit the hardest by this plague. The once noble beasts are now an instrument of destruction, rabid and frenzied. I may have a cure for this ailment. Take this trap to the forest and lay it on the ground. Any rabid thistle bear that crosses the light shall become docile for a short time. Once the bear is docile, it shall follow you. Lead it back here, adventurer. Some of my brethren were rescued from a corrupt furbog in Teldrassil, and I vow to stop any more atrocities before more of our kind are injured. Or worse. I have seen a couple hints of corruption in Darkshore already, but I have yet to find any widespread signs. I think it would be logical if the investigation continued with the poor bogs. Would you find one of their camps and return to me if you see any signs of corruption? I love fishing. The Blump family is known for fishing. My name is Gubba Blump. I fish. There's a kind of fish I like to catch around these parts called Darkshore Grouper. 
I used to go out on a boat to fish for grub, but no boats have been going out since then. Me and old Murlocs moved in. I bet they've been eating up all the grouper too. Say, you want to help me catch Darkshore grouper? I'd give you a bona fide Blump family fishing pole if you did. It's a real good pole to catch fish with. Finally, that's all the quest that was read. And finally, we can talk. Got a new bag. Work complete. All right, job's done. I think uh, these murlocs we just have to throw. Level 13, bro. Fifty-three crit. Okay, we got this. Work complete. Nice. Another job bites the dust. Oh wow, we got one. Complete how big a treat. Level 14 enemy, dude. Not enough energy. You can tag me through it. You have been treat, uh, tricked or treated recently. Okay, but what do you get though? Did we get anything? Armor reduced by 312. That is big. Also, we should have kick a mouse over macro. I don't I don't see it. So here's the poison macro. Okay, so, so new kick. So it will be target uh, equals mouse over exist, and then we'll just change earth shock to kick and kick. And this will be number four. 
completely forgot we actually trained it now. Oh. I thought I had to go loot something in that camp. Seems to be not the case. Hopefully we can buy a skinning knife here. We're also about to level up though. We're about 20%-ish away. 14% exactly. May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. I hope the Murloc did not give you much trouble in collecting this for us. I will be sure to get this on the next Hippogriff to Darnassus. The Temple of the Moon has given me some funds to hand out for assistance. Please have some with our thanks. Your success here emboldens me to offer you a chance to aid the Temple of the Moon further, if you are interested. That beached creature is not an isolated incident here in Darkshore. There are more along the coastline and even in the water. I would like for you to investigate another one that we know of. This one was reported to be in the water due west of Oberdeen, close to a sunken vessel. Return to me with anything that you may recover that would aid our research. Also, in your travels you may find other creatures. By all means, if you should discover anything, then please bring it to our attention. Ishnu Allah. Good luck, friend. Okay, over here there should be... This is where the... This is where you train um, mining and also blacksmithing, engineering, I think. All of it is here. I have the final greetings, lass. If you're looking for the best deals you'll find outside of Ironforge itself, then you've come to the right place. You see, one hand skinning knife. For our orphaned, apparently, this is 3,800% better. Two point two damage per second. Nah, dude, it's not even close. Wait a minute. We have to go in there. Adventurer, I've come to find out how rampant the effects of Fel Moss are throughout Darkshore. The corruption of Teldrassil and our surrounding lands really concerns the druids of the Cenarian Circle and all Night Elves. It is my goal to find out why this has happened, and to put an end to it. This is terrible news indeed, adventurer. With the fur bogs this close to Aberdeen, we will have to prepare ourselves for the inevitable. Thank you, adventurer. You've already proven adept at scouting our enemy, adventurer. Do you have what it takes to fight them as well? Not all adventurers prefer straightforward combat to the art of stealth and evasion. If you think you're up for the task, then the Furball camp south of Aberdeen is currently the biggest threat to our people. You'll find some of the Blackwood tribe there. Kill eight Pathfinders and five Windtalkers and return to me here. Your scouting of the Furball camp is information that Thunderous Windweaver should be made aware of. He graciously serves as the Elder of Aberdeen, offering sage and just stewardship of the day-to-day -day affairs of the village. Please, share with him your findings to date on the Furbolg situation. I believe he has some ideas of his own on the reasons behind their corruption. Perhaps you can work with him to enact a plan to restore the balance of nature here. 
Well met, adventurer. Your scouting of the Fur Bog situation comes at a fortuitous time for us in Aberdeen. For some time we have dealt with not only forest dwellers who are now openly hostile to our presence, but also the outright corruption of the forest itself. Hopefully you might be able to lend Aberdeen aid during these troubling times. The Cliffspring River has begun turning foul and corrupted. It empties into the mist's edge, and I fear the wash will affect Aberdeen soon. I suspect the Blackwood Furbogs upriver are the cause of the taint, but I also suspect that they aren't the true root of it. Take this sampling tube and go to the mouth of the river to our north. Proceed inland to the first waterfall and draw a sample from the pool there. You'll see a bridge overhead. Once you have a sample, return to me in Aberdeen. The ruins of Bachelaren to the east are overrun with demonic minions. The sprites and satyrs that have taken up residence in the area feed upon the magical energies of the area, their powers growing from continued exposure. Even with that, I have noticed that there is one shrine they will not approach. On the western side of the ruins, atop a small bluff, a strange blue aura permeates. There must be an explanation to the demon's reluctance. I would like you to investigate it. Adventurer, a task I would ask of you. Have you seen the ruins of Ameth Aran? If not, you will find them on the eastern side of the main road, some ways to the south. Once they were the home of many powerful highborn. Now they are a testament to the destruction their dabblings produced. I've been told by the Sentinels that the spirits of the Highborn persist and that they wield their ancient magical implements. Those relics must be appropriated so that we might destroy them. You sure that's a good idea, bro? I want a cooldown timer to show, like, the text on... Sprint, for example. To what could I possibly owe the exceedingly special honor of a person such as yourself as company? Truly, it says much of my current companions, with no offense to my hosts, the noble Grells and Satyrs, that your presence could be considered an improvement. But please do not let my uncivil tongue drive you from the place. It has indeed been many years, decades even, since I had civil accompaniment. If I were to relate the story of my life, I have no doubt it would surpass the limits of your patience. Let us say that mine has been a long and painful life, and this spectral form is perhaps the worst torment of all. I am held here by the means of magic. Though my words may seem disingenuous, I assure you I would be grateful beyond words if you would help me find the means of my imprisonment. A seal binds me. And by examining the earpieces of the sprites and grells, I may find a trace of it. Oh no. Oh. I was eating while being poisoned. Come on, food buff, quickly. Thank you. Seems like you're gonna eat through poison.
Okay, we have one out of eight, bro. I feel like these things is not dropping. And this thing doesn't drop it. It's only the imps. First aid is barely healing. This guy is level 16, he's just killing everything. Everything is just dead. Why does it show green? You see, they, they just want us to use a fast weapon as offhand. See. And it's because your orphan misses more than hit until you get hit rating. So that's why it says that. Feels like we're a lot stronger. Even though the weapon does less damage. We have 16 DPS. Hard to judge DPS um, if you land a crit. We have four out of eight now. Halfway there. We definitely have more DPS with the green sword. Take a minute to do this quest.
We have one unspent talent, dude. Let's make our sinister a little bit cheaper. Got this, my buddy. Dude, how low is the drop chance, dude? Goodness. Another one. Still need two more. We still need two more. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> okay, finally, one more. Yeah, it's roughly four kills for one to drop. Maybe more. Those crits, though, very juicy. Indeed, the indeed. Bashal Aran do not possess that which I am searching. However, they have come into contact with it recently. Recently, I would reckon that by your time, not mine. Recent for me stretches into the veil of the past, almost another age. If the Grells have come into close contact with the seal that binds my eternal prison, I suspect I know the cause. No doubt the seal has come into the possession of the satyr that lead them. I feel strongly that this must be true, adventurer. One of the satyr must surely possess it. If you can obtain it, you would bring me so close to passing the bars of my prison that tears would come to my eyes. 
I can do it some other way. I can kick you in the nuts. That will also bring tears to your eyes. I promise. I have a nice kick ability. I need to get closer. I think we're gonna pull both, and I think he uses an arrow the whole time until you're close. We didn't pull both, nice. It's what on Toko da Boot. It were halfway to the next level again. It it is hard for me to even believe that what I hold now is that which has held me for so long. Let us waste no time, adventurer. When the seal is destroyed, I might walk the forests of the earth freely again. It was the craft of one of the most powerful of the highborn that created the seal that formed my prison. In Amitharan, the ruins to the south that are twin to these, persists even today an ancient flame, blue in color. In this flame, this seal could be destroyed. Be wary in the ruins, adventurer. Be wary in the ruins. That doesn't sound too promising. Might be a pretty tough quest then. Thirty seconds left, and then our. Oh. Then our food buff is off. So let's just reapply it. Level 13. Is... I don't think it's a stop one. Is there another one? Wow. Wow, dude. It parried me and dodged me I don't even know how many times. How can we... S okay, well, it's feathers, right? We just have to explore the place. Ooh. 
Gad's not here. Is it that entrance up there? Um, looks like there's another one here. Not ready yet. Level fourteen. So it's not this one either. There's a guy running here also. Right, found it. Work complete. Thank you. Grind town and collect ta Oh my goodness. I don't have enough energy. I'm dazed. Oh my goodness, this could have been bad. <sighs> Why did the other one pull from so far away? And then there was three. What the fuck? How did that one get pulled, bro? I can barely kill one of them. Grind to town and collect ten small eggs from Munkins. I mean, I'm collecting small eggs. 
but I don't see where, like, how many we have. Oh, we have six. Also could have just used the search bar. Seven. We just cancel it. Seven. Not enough energy. Oh, we're still at seven, right? I oh, weren't it. Still have eight. Cook her baked egg. So we have nine now. And there we go, we have ten. Cook the baked egg. Cook it once we get to a trainer. I don't have enough energy. Okay, we're running back to the city. Turn in the red crystal. So we'll also do the cooking. We ever do find a fireplace. So the crystal exists, adventurer? Fascinating. Anyway, your task has been well executed. Good work. What exactly is this crystal? This is but a single question in a sea of questions. Another question that comes to mind is why the moonkin would be drawn to this object? Is the crystal benign in nature or does it hold a more sinister purpose? 
I have many more questions, but we're going to need to examine that crystal closely to get some answers. Use this empty vial and fill up on some Moonwell water here in Aberdeen. Such potent magic should provide a clue as to the composition of the crystal. To do that, you'll pour the liquid over the crystal. It should take care of the rest. While I don't anticipate anything bad happening to you, I still want you to be careful. Above us, to the east, is Fellwood. If that crystal is tied to that place as I suspect it is, then it could prove to be very dangerous. You see, this is a hunter guide that we're following. It says tracking beasts. Obviously, we do not play a hunter. So we don't have the tracking beast ability. But also, I don't see any dead stuff. Something there. Requires level 12. We are 13 at the moment. I'm out of range. Nice, dude. We can skin them also. Maybe that's why we don't see any dead ones. Because whoever is killing them is skinning them also. Skinning is only 37, dude. another one down there somewhere. There it is. This enemy is level 14. So they're a level higher than us. Requires skinning level 40, you see? That's what I said. So you can skin f level 13s, but not 14s. One more, then we can go back and skin this thing. Another level 13. Mm. 
Let's go, baby. I don't have enough energy. There we go. Level 40. Skinning. Still getting light leather. So hard to find. Another level 14. It is too far away. We still need one. Dude, some of the drop rates on this thing is just kind of insane. Work complete. Thank you. Failed attempt. Another failed attempt. Thank you. Goodness. All right. Washed, washed ashore. Well, that's a long swimming, I think. I'll catch you guys once we're closer. Got into combat. But we're next to it anyway. Gotta click on something here. There we go. Work complete. What I'm talking about. Okay, gotta swim all the way back. Oh, rot. Hand in this bad boy. You've been a tremendous help here today. We now have a solid chance at unlocking the mystery of why these creatures choose to beach themselves on the coast of Darkshore. The idea that they might be fleeing the area around Teldrassil is disturbing. Should you come across others in your travels, please let me know. Our research here is but in its infancy. On behalf of the Temple of the Moon, please accept this as thanks for the effort you have given. Thank you, adventurer. I think these light feathers is worth something. Especially to mages. I think they're lightful or something. Use those feathers. We have 14 slots available. Let's increase our stamina for 30 minutes. Okay, looks like we're running all the way down there now. Uh, we have mail again from... Just this unread mail. It might be our auction house stuff that didn't sell. 
But we're getting back. <clears throat> Didn't repair my gear. Which really sucks. Wait, we gotta go this way? It requires level 14, bro. I mean, I think by the time we can actually increase sprinting or something, some talent on sprint, you'll get a mount by then. So by then it's actually pretty useless. Someone AOE killing? Like it must be like a level 20 mage at the very least. Did we level? No, no, that's reputation increase. So one more, one more in dodge, and then I don't know what's better, parry or hit chance. I think we'll just go full protective first. We're going to do like no damage if we're going to do dungeons with people. Maybe it is hit chance first, to be honest. Because we are missing way too much. The dodge and the miss and the parries numbers that we see the whole time is... It's a bit much. Yeah, it's definitely hit chance first. I think if we hit 100% of the time, we'll do so much more damage, bro. Easily double the DPS we're doing. Level 17 Paladin. We need seven of whatever this is. Chance to hit reduced by south and collect small eggs I don't have enough energy so 
So they want us to get our cooking apples here. Another level bites the dust. Okay. Yeah, there's just way too much mess and dodge. Kill towards the road. Not enough energy. Kicking takes energy. Twenty five energy. Enemies is green level. So we like out level them pretty hard. Come here, critter. Give me that skin. Get in my pocket. To the east you will find the ruins of Ameth Aran. It is now inhabited by the restless spirits of the Highborn that once dwelt within its walls. But once it was a place where the servants of Ajara freely practiced their powerful magics. I was sent to explore the ruins and came across two large tablets scrawled with the stories of Ameth Aran and its fall. While I read the runes, I was accosted by the spirits and fled. Please, if you can, venture to the ruins and decipher the tablets in my place. No promises, girl. Now show me them nibs. Yet. 
Oh my goodness, so many dodges and misses, bro. What's the use of kicking that curse anyway? Like we're we're perma cursed by not hitting anything. Okay, another one. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Don't mind me killing ghosts with a dagger and a sword. You don't have to call Ghostbusters, bro. Just call a rogue. You'll be fine. So there's kind of like a bigger enemy here we'll have to get. Hey, something else sold, uh, sold in the auction house. We have a green shield. Work, work. They're ready to work. We got that kind of orc. No. Oh, I got it. Dude, she's level 16. 16, bro. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. I can't do that yet. Not ready yet. I didn't kick. Killed a level 16, dude. We're level 14. Two levels higher than us. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm 
I can't do that. Another person just reached level 60. Goodness. Will we ever? what I'm talking about. Another queer spy and dust. We have few records from the time around the War of the Ancients, especially near the destruction of the Well of Eternity. Given the upheaval and cataclysmic events that were taking place, it is no big surprise. Thank you, adventurer. With your help, my work here is finished. And I will be able to deliver a full report to the circle. No problem, girl. I'll show me the nips. No, I'm kidding. Guys, we're going to actually end it here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.